Hi everybody and welcome back and welcome to you if you are joining me here for the first time today. Uh, last episode we spoke about a new project. Well, this new project I started actually a few months ago, um, but I never continued with it. But I decided now we're going to continue with it because I need gunpowder, which means a creeper farm. So this is hopefully going to be the new perimeter for my creeper farm. So this is where I was getting all my sand and everything else. And I just never carried on with it. So all I did now was build up a TNT flying machine. As you can see, I gave it a couple of the test run over here with a big hole going down the side. So that is our next big project, which we're going to do. But today is frog-like day, as you can say. I'm going to build a frog-like farm. I haven't worked with the frogs yet. So we are going to be doing that. Uh, yeah, so this is where I was getting my sand and smelting down and things for glass, whatever I needed. But eventually we got the sand duper and that works fantastic. So... The one lucky thing about this area, we've got a mangrove and jungle, everything else close by. So I was able to get two of the frogs in this area. So we make our way over the hill. Oh, come on. Let me quickly show you guys. Okay, so here we got a swamp where we got the white frogs and this is where I bred up the orange ones. So if you breed them up in the, this biome here, which is basically a river, you get the orange frogs. I've still got one left here. So in this farm, we're going to be have four of each frog just to make sure we get enough colors of each of the frog lights so this is where I had them tied up and they are waiting at the other side of the nether portal so first thing we're going to do we're going to collect the frogs and take the long walk very very long walk all the way to where we are building our frog like farm so I will see you guys at the frog light farm and then we're going to start building. Well, we're finally here at our build site. I've started just the planning out and setting things up. So we're going to start building and finishing this farm off. And frogs can be very annoying, especially breeding up. So luckily I've had an ice biome where I could breed up the frogs in the desert. So it made it a little bit easier. It's just collecting the tadpoles and breeding them up and that's very annoying but the end result is going to be worth it we're going to have some frog lights and i haven't built with frog lights yet so i'm looking forward to that so let's get building
Okay, guys, stage one is complete. Now we just need to get the frogs in and then we can finish off the rest of the build and see what happens. So, we first need to get that. Wait, let's just get some more leads just in case. Uh, let's see who is. Okay, let's just untie everybody and then connect them up. Is that everybody? Ah, we missed one. Hey, stand still, stop jumping around. Okay, so we got four green, the four orange ones, and four white ones. Okay, now we can get these guys in the farm. Let's hope they all follow my lead. Okay, is everybody on the steps? This is very <laughs> weird. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Come on, is everybody in? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yes. Looks like we've got everybody. Wait, this first take this out of hand before we start leashing everybody up again. Oh, I still got somebody. There we go. That looks like everybody. Okay. Now, let's finish off the rest of this farm. is complete I've built up my uh, spawning platform way up there so we are out of reach of all the mobs below the bedrock here so the only thing that can spawn here is the magma cubes in this farm This farm works pretty well. I went AFK for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less. And uh, we got quite a bit of loot out of that. 
So let's quickly have a look here. And I also got a achievement. What is this? With our powers combined. That sounds like fun. Well, we've got this frog light over here. Let's take one of those out and we're going to put him over there. So it's got like an orange little glow. And here's the greenish one. That's very nice. This one and of course your magma cream. And there's a purple one. Looks very nice. So it seems for about if you're okay for about half an hour, you can get up to about 18 stacks per frog light. And I'm assuming I'll probably get up to about six or maybe seven stacks of magma cream. But I think we can make this farm a little bit more efficient, and I'm sure if you make it bigger, you'll get more out of it. But I like the green one, and the purple one's kind of cool. So I don't know. What do you guys think? What's your favorite color? Which one do you like the most? But this came out pretty good. Let me know if you guys have built any frog-like farms or any builds that might be a bit more efficient or better than compared to this one. But that was a lot of fun. I thank you guys for joining today. hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and enjoy your Minecraft. Cheers, guys.